Hello there, let's create this effect. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial, so please don't skip any part for better understanding of how proximity node works in Blender. So in this one we are going to dive much more deeper in the node concept, but the main thing is to use proximity geometry node. So first, delete everything in the scene and add a plane. Select the plane. Then let's break the window. Then selected the geometry. Click new to start setting up nodes. So this is tree is startup tree. So this plane now have these two nodes. We need to add instance on point node which will allow us to distribute instances on this plane. We cannot connect these two geometries at once, so we need to connect this join geometry node to connect multiple geometries mesh. Then we need to add an object as instance, for now I'll choose UV sphere. Any mesh object can be used as instance. You can see even instance object has values to control it. So you can adjust it depending on your need. Can put even the scale of it right. Click shift plus right click to join the connecting lines to a single connecting point. Then delete a group input at a grid node. This node help us to have much more control of the plane. But here we can control the size in X axis and Y axis. We can add the vertex in X axis and Y axis. So somehow we have much more control of this. Let's distribute point on face of this plane. The thing I add adds some randomness of the of the arrangement of these instances UV sphere. So if I connect a distribute point on face node, you can see spheres are much more randomized on this plane. So different points are distributed on top of this plane for the instances to stay on it thus why they get randomized. Can control the density of these instances. You can control the scale of these instances. So Scale them depending on your needs and what looks better to you. Play with these values until you get the look you need. Another thing let's add a controller to control proximity effect. Let's add a monkey head. This monkey will be as a controller of these instances. So because we need a proximity effect to take place here. Here we need a control of this effect. But I think if we use monkey head as instance. And then use UV sphere as the controller it will be much more interesting. So let's add the monkey head as instance on our plane. You can drag and drop here then connect geometry to instance. You can see ton of monkey heads. Distribute on top of the plane. So we gonna reduce them a little. Like that. Another thing we needed to add the transform geometry so as we can control different transformations like translation, scale and rotation of the instances. So 
So here we are going to add the UV sphere which will be used as the controller of the proximity effect. Then add a geometry proximity node and connect the distance to the scale. But we cannot connect the scale to transform. We need to connect the distance to the scale of instance on point node because you want to control this effect in a way that when depending on the distance of this UV sphere. So when the UV sphere is far or near, these monkey heads need to react accordingly depending on where the sphere is. So you can see there's nothing happened because we need to include the sphere in this node system. Then connect it to geometry proximity node, this is where the controller is connected. Connect the geometry to geometry, you can see Mamie of monkey heads appears. And there is some effect if you look carefully at the center of these monkey. You can see there. They are far from monkey head, but no effect when I try to change the position of this sphere. You can select these heads. Then make this relative. Already these monkey heads take the effects from the sphere because the sphere is what controls the proximity and these monkey heads 9 instances are the one tobe affected. And this is actual proximity effect. In this effect we can have much more control when we add another nodes like a map range node. This map range it controls the range of the effect to take place and the whole magic of this effect lies here. So you need to be very careful with this node. At first you can see then is there's no effect. So I need to deal with these values a little bit. Then put it zero. So then pray around with these values. The monkey heads their scale chance depending on the location of the sphere because we connect this proximity node node to the scale of this is instances. That's why these monkey heads react only with changing their scale. Let's scale this plane to easily see the effect how it takes place and how it affects the instances. And the good thing about this effect you can control it depending on the value of map range node. The real effect of this proximity node is controlled BT the map range, so by adjusting the map range values it's where you can get what you need the effect to do. So so it's just a master of playing with these values. And see what effect really satisfy you. And you can enable clamp and experiment with these map range values and see what results they come with. This map range is the everything here. 
but make sure you choose relative not original in the instance object. We can amplify the effect of this proximity by adding a multiplication value found in math node. So now that the output from geometry proximity node will be multiplied by the value we enter in that math node. And we added the separate x, y, z node to the scale because we want to be more specific on which axis we want the scale to react according to the proximity effect. You can even scale the controller and it will still dynamically affect the monkey heads or instances. You can see this effect. Then the effect will depend on how you set the map range values. Sometimes you can turn the controller into wire to make it not visible into viewpoint or into final render. So let's add another separate XYZ to separate the effect in only Z axis. So we need to rotate these monkey heads. When we move this controller, so we can even add animations. You can press I2 and set the keyframes for the selected object. Also we can use multiple instances. For example here we have only monkey head instance. I can add a cone. And then I did join geometry. So we can join these two geometries together. And both of them to be at an instance. And you can see in the viewbert. We get monkey heads and cones. Both as instances. So with this technique at the end, you can come up with, with this effect of flowers when you replace monkey head and cone with some flowers objects as instances, and press some flowers and you'll get effect like this. That's all for today see you in the next one. Subscribe for more upcoming tutorials every day. Repeat, render, repeat. Creativity knows no bounds.